YouTube, well, the new ban list is here. Um, I don't know how, usually it takes them a while to, you know, announce the ban list. So unfortunately, I couldn't uh, upload my ban list predictions. Uh, at least I did them, um, I did, I did do them uh, with uh, Twitch chat, you know, on Twitch. <laughs> so in short, I explained, you know, my thoughts on what should be limited and stuff like that, what will be unlimited maybe. Um, so let's let's dive a bit deeper into it. Also before we start, uh, let me remind you, if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing because, you know, it does help a lot to make, to continue making more videos like this. And also it does help you to be notified when I'll be posting more content like this. And I also post usually the deck lists and, you know, dual replays and all that good stuff. So stay, stick around for, for that. Also to remind you as well, join us on Twitch when I stream live, when I talk about this stuff live. And, I, you know, I can answer your questions. I can in live discuss things with you all guys. And also do uh, do join us um, on my Discord that I created uh, um, to be notified, you know, with all of the stuff going on. And you can also, you know, discuss stuff and talk about things there. I will post links of the Twitch and the Discord in the description. So, yeah, that said, let's now jump into the video. So, I did predict Swallow's Nest going to 2. Um... I don't want to talk about spellbooks, you know, I don't need to talk about them. Uh, I did say that they could limit Levianir and Thunder Dragon Dark to 3, but I thought they, that they wouldn't do that, do it, because, you know, they just released the alternative art Levianir, and they are, you know, a couple weeks, or whatever it's, it is, a month, two months later, they are limiting it to 3, which is weird, you know. But I would say it's a good nerf to Thunder Dragon's... Um, you know, um, another spellbook. And finally, uh, Gaga's sister is no longer on list. If you listened on Twitch, then you know I said that they were uh, about to unlimit Anamets in some way because, you know, they completely annihilated the deck. And that's not really the best thing to do, you know. Um, have, a, you know, a, the best deck and then completely annihilate, <laughs> annihilate it, you know. And for that reason, I, I feel they didn't kill also Harpies in this uh, ban list. Uh, I am kinda, I'm gonna talk about this, I am kinda unsatisfied they didn't do some stuff. Um, but I think th this in general was de pretty decent, all of this. And now of course they didn't uh, limit skills at all, first of all. They didn't touch any other decks, which, you know, doesn't change the meta that much, I would say. And finally, they didn't ban tre Treacherous Trap Hole. So, first of all, let's cover Treacherous, and then we will come on to the meta, how this will impact the meta and everything like that. Well, Treacherous. Um, the thing with Treacherous Trap Hole is that it really took off with the release of Book of Moon, I would say, and with um, basically limitations of and, you know, weakening of the meta. If you remember before, we had tons of decks that weren't really affected by Treacherous, and Treacherous did have and does still have a big downside. The downside is you can't have traps in the graveyard to activate it, and you would really like traps in, in your deck because um, that that were that was you know ways to <laughs> stop other decks, and the thing is now that we have Book of Moon, and Book of Moon is basically a trap. I I keep saying it to people, but they don't realize it's it's a trap in a form of a spell, you know, and for that reason they can run you know then you have five cards, and especially in decks like that would abuse uh, that have draw engines like blue eyes like um Anamets had like harpies have you know you can draw into your five off cards you know uh, much easier and much faster so in other words you don't get the downside of a, the treacherous trap hole because you have other you know trap like cards with you know book of moon being one of them and also of course let's not forget that in past we had cockatus we had dark lords we had you know Tons of decks uh, that weren't really affected by Treacherous, you know, that either float or 
you know can't be destroyed or and stuff like that so you would really want to have other cards like karma cut like you know fiendish chain and all that stuff that would help out more than treacherous would and you would want to have more of them than you know and you can then run treacherous because it's a trap and for that reason treacherous is becoming more of a toxic card i would say um, but the thing is that why didn't they ban it now then if it's that toxic like we all know that it can sack and you know if you just open you just open it it wins duels on its own you know so why keep it in the game then i would say the main reason is book of moon they just re-released you know in the main box book of moon and to promote book of moon you know they want to have treacherous alive and if like for an example if they banned treacherous you know um you would you would play more traps and maybe you would find more synergy in other traps you know uh, like for an example uh, canadia summons itself when summoned from when act when a trap is activated so maybe you wouldn't need then book of moon if you were if you would run more traps um so for that reason to promote book of moon even more and to cash out even more on the book of moon i would say that's the reason they haven't banned treacherous just yet which in a sense um is you know what the fuck konami in a sense is i would say a good thing to realize because you know at some point at probably next ban list or the ban list after that they will have to you know ban treacherous like we all know that it's an unhealthy card unbalanced card i would say unbalanced card is the you know main reason <laughs> and i would say it's it it doesn't really fit the current you know if you if, you're, if they're gonna uh, improve the meta and in, in, in the way that treacherous doesn't kill off games on its own then you know fine but in this meta treacherous doesn't really find uh, isn't really balanced and uh, isn't really a card for duel links i would say that said how will this ban list affect um you know the meta well let's first of all look at thunder dragons real quick Thunder Dragons, if you remember, <laughs> if you can recall well, Thunder Dragons isn't a top tier deck. It's only a top tier deck in uh, without the side deck because you know they can't really out that easily in Necro Valleys and Floodgates like uh, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. So for that for that reason, they you know they take off uh, without the side deck formats like Casey Cup, and even if without the limits, Thunder Dragons will fall back would fall back down in the you know side deck to tournaments and stuff like that but um they decided to limit them even further which is fine you know it doesn't change anything thunder dragon enthusiasts will probably play it still you know they will just run one levy <clears throat> to thunder dragon darks uh, sure the deck is much weaker like there's no you know running away from that it's much much weaker much less consistent much uh losing lots of power with running only one levy um, but yeah, like I said, we weren't really expecting Thunder Dragons in uh, side deck tournaments, you know, in <laughs> at all. So yeah, nothing th that I would say for that reason that doesn't change the meta, you know. Like the meta wasn't really Thunder Dragons. The meta uh, melodious harpies, destiny heroes. Um, I don't know, and the rest of the bunch. Thunder Dragons really ca took off, like I said, in the Casey Cup. Um, so yeah, uh, next up then we have Harpies. How will this limit influence Harpies? Well, they will probably just decide to run one Swallow's Nest and one uh, Elegant Egotist, which means um, wh how does that affect them? Well, they can still run for, in for um, they can still replace, I would say, Swallow's Nest with MSTs and Lance. Um, so I would say they won't really struggle with, inter with back row but i would say the struggle will be with consistency because usually they would have six cards with channeler plus three swallows nest uh, six you know cards that lead into channeler that lead into the optimal board but now they will have four which i would say doesn't dress i mean yeah it kind of drastically we we could say uh, lowers the consistency and with that we could maybe see a different meta and maybe this limit uh, it is it didn't look like they would kill it would kill the deck but maybe we don't need to kill the deck maybe the loss of the consistency 
uh, will limit the deck, um, you know, um, that it won't be the best deck anymore. So, if we wanted to check out the odds, like what changed, how consistency changed, we could type in 20 cards, let's say, uh, let's say they have six, you know, openers that lead to channeler, let's say um, they go first, and odds to have is one, so let's see on the, let's calculate, so they had 80% uh, chances, 79% chances that they would open one or more, and let's let's see now. Uh, let's say the twenty cards copies ran four. Uh, let's see now. It's sixty-two percent. So that's a big hit. Eight what seventeen percent? That's a big hit in consistency. But is it enough? That is of course the question. And I would say it's enough to take them down. You know, from being the best deck potential. But I still feel like they could be easily tier 2, um, potentially maybe even stay tier 1, I don't know, um, I don't know how, how, will, how bad will they be, um, with, you know, consistency loss, um, and also maybe they decide to change the, uh, deck list idea completely, maybe they will decide to run a 30 card deck, you know, the engine pieces, and if they can still, um, manage to, you know, um, create a way to make them consistent maybe they're they aren't really that bad and maybe they still stay at tier one we don't we can't really know for sure now but they will still definitely be a top tier deck that is uh, you know for sure so we can see harpies tier one uh destiny heroes tier two melodious tier two um, and Magnets tier 3 and that's basically it um, so how does how does the ban list affect you know um, how will the ban list affect then how the tier list will shape up I don't know maybe maybe Harpies will just fall down a bit then Melodious will, could rise up but that's basically it the meta won't change at all maybe Onomets will come back we didn't talk about Onomets for uh, really because we don't know how good they can be with unlimitation of sister the thing is that they was they were a, such a good deck because they had their skill and because they they lost their skill even sister unlimit you know doesn't guarantee they will be a top tier deck uh that that said i do have a feeling they could be a top tier deck um i i'm still not sure i still have to uh, see and test it out and all that stuff but for now it seems like automats could uh, enter you know uh, the whole equation and that said let's let's uh, switch the topic a bit on the skills so they didn't touch any skills whatsoever. Um, some people say, like I even say, that they may release the skill rebalancing um, soon. But would they really do that? Usually they, I mean, mo sometimes they, ca they can release them, you know, separately. But usually they, when it's a big ban list, you know, when it's a December ban list, uh, usually they release um, skill rebalancing with, you know, card limitations. Um, so for that reason, I'm skeptical. And because they haven't done a big decision like banning Treacherous, maybe they will just keep Destiny Draw. Maybe they will just keep, uh, I don't know, Smile World, uh, Draw Sense, Spell Trap, and all that stuff. Um, Harpy's Hunting Ground, <laughs> of course. Um, so I don't know... Um, I think that um, the game will be fine without the skill rebalancing, but I feel like limiting Harpy's Hunting Ground uh, would probably a, be a good option at least. Um, we all we all dislike Destiny Draw um, some more than others. Um, I guess they could have done something with that, um, but I guess it will be fine. Um, the biggest thing to take away out of this video would be that the meta probably won't shape that much um, if we don't get a new support and new better cards. Um, sure, Melodious may end up being, you know, tier 1, solo tier 1 best deck. But besides that, 
there shouldn't be no you know um crazy meta changes like we had in the past which you may say it's a good thing if you know the, the meta changes slowly and not you know a very fast every after every ban list um but yeah i guess that's subjective anyways let me know what you guys think um first of all about the ban list was it a good ban list do you think um harpies got what they deserved what do you think then about the skills should they have been nerfed a bit um also what do you think about animates do you think they will come back I don't know, man. It seems like they can come back pretty easily, if especially, you know, they can just run Destiny Draw now or some shit like that. Uh, <laughs> draw Sense High Level or something, you know, to search for their head. So, I don't know. We will have to wait and see for that. But yeah, let me know in, in, your, in the comments what you think about this. Um, do you agree with me? Uh, do you disagree with me? I love, you know, talking about this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it. See you in the next one. Bye.